So we finally had a chance to dyno test the gigantic Castle 2535 motor powered by the Cobra 5 HV ESC, of course, on the trusty P2 supercharger. And oh boy, did a lot of weird stuff happen. Generally speaking, on these electric supercharger dyno tests, we start with a baseline pull and then we move on to the supercharge pulls and then we make some power and we all celebrate. Well, this time, yeah, we did set a new P2 Castle motor powered electric supercharged record by, by far, actually. But man, we even struggled to get a baseline pull, much less a high powered supercharged pull. So strap in, this one's gonna be exciting. All right, Juan, as per usual, we're gonna set a baseline. Yep. Let's do it. I'm gonna reconnect the PCD system, I think. A lot. All right, so, you know, one thing we haven't told people is that I'm messing with the PCV system and I have it disconnected, yeah. which is why there's all kinds of oil smoke that you normally don't see. What's it say? 313. Oh, we're down. We're down 20, what is that, 26 horsepower? Yeah, torque's at 309. Wow. You know what? Let's take a look at something. Let me take a look at the data logs and see what kind of tweaks. And let's reconnect the PCV system. This is, this is just like, <laughs> man, it's like a refinery in here. All right, so it was a bit rich. It was running 12.4 to one. Pulled out, what, 4% of fuel, not much. Let's pull it again and try to set another baseline. Ready, one? Ready. Besides more smoke from the leftover oil from the disconnected PCV system, we also lost some more power. Let's go look for it. All right, so the one cylinder that we should check is cylinder number one. That's, if one is gonna go, it's gonna be this one. It's always one. But I don't really see this as being an issue. It's not impossible, but it just doesn't seem likely. It looks, well, orange, which you would expect it to look orange because of the, yeah, the stuff we ran through it last time to bump up the octane, but it looks good. It's just orange. All right, we pulled the plug and looked at it. It's fine. We've checked all the header tubes. They're fine. We fattened it back up. Let's see what it does. We lost more, huh? We did. Comedy of errors is what we're gonna call this. We checked to make sure all the cylinders were firing by the old spray the water on the header tube trick. We pulled the number one spark plug, which is the one that always causes trouble first in a small block Ford. That was fine. We even checked the thrust bearing. That's fine. What it was? was we forgot to turn on the fan in front of the car. When looking at the data logs from the Mega Squirt, I noticed something that the mat, the manifold air temperature kept going up and up and up with every pull and it was hitting like 180 degrees. Now at 140 degrees, the car starts to pull timing because it thinks it's running too hot. All because the fan wasn't on. So let's try this again. Let's see if it does any better. You ready, Juan? Ready. You think it's gonna do better this time? Hopefully. You seem very unsure. I'm, I'm unsure as well. We're both unsure. A whole lot of unsurety here <laughs> happening. Let's pull the parking brake. Let's release the dyno brake. Well, car, let's see if the car will start. That would be the first thing we want to check. After start in Richmond, still biting me. 
That's okay, I'll worry about that later. <laughs> wow. There she goes. Start try. All right. It's better work. Car should be happier. That even felt better. Did that do it? Yep. 338. That's about right where it should be. It's within one horsepower. All because of a fan. Unbelievable. Oh, I feel so much better now. Now, now we can try the electric supercharger and the big castle motor. Oh yeah. Dino Max three inch exhaust tubing. All right, Juan, so we're all set up. Hopefully it works. We haven't tested it yet, but we're gonna find out because after all, this has been a less than stellar day so far. <laughs> Subscribe for Juan. We have it set to maximum. I think I know what's gonna happen, but because I did some bench testing yesterday, but I don't want to give away the secrets. I don't know yet. Definitely a quicker pull, and I did see a little bit of boost. The question is, how much? How much boost did you make? More importantly, show me the power. 413. 413? Not bad. Oh, you know we did not connect? I didn't connect the boost line. So there was a boost leak, but these boost leaks are nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, despite what people will tell you, they really are nothing. But we will have the data log from the Mega Squirt to look at for boost level. All right, Juan, so the takeaway here is, this has been a rough day, but the, yeah, the takeaway here is that when your friend whines about, oh, he's got a boost leak and it's a tiny little boost leak, mm -hmm. They don't make a difference. I actually dyno tested this like 15 years ago where we went up to a one inch hole and we only lost like 10 horsepower. We lost a ton of torque at low RPM because mm -hmm. that was the lowest volume of air we were moving, but uh, horsepower, hardly any. And here I don't really expect a difference. In fact, because we were troubleshooting before the last pull, the car was a little bit cooler. Here we've had much less time. So I expect this to be pretty much exactly the same. But there's only one way to find out. Pull it. All right, since I didn't exactly catch what you said, what is it? 413.63. Oh, wow. It's, it's like a, exactly the same. The other one was 0 0.96. So. Yeah, it's like three tenths of a horsepower. So there's your boost leak. You can tell your friend to shut his hole. <laughs> that works on several levels. <laughs> Subscribe for what? Now this is where the video was supposed to end, but just like the last time we were on the dyno with these electric superchargers, something showed up, a 28 tooth pulley. Now up until now, we've been running the 22 tooth pulley on this motor. There's an 18 tooth pulley machined into the impeller shaft. This should greatly increase the load and also increase our power potential. So let's do it.
So we swapped the 22 tooth pulley for the 28 tooth pulley. Let's make another pull. Juan, you got any predictions? 444. Okay. Yeah, I don't expect it to hit 453 like it did with uh, the 2028 motor because that was like way into overpower range. But we don't actually know. You know, the KV rating of this motor seems to be a little on the optimistic side. And then you add in the additional load and voltage sag, it could hit over 600 amps on the ESC and the ESC could, you know, hopefully shut down like the hobby wing does. Hopefully oh, yeah. it doesn't blow up, but we're going to find out. Or it could be somewhere in the happy region of about 400, 450 amps, which is what we're hoping for, which is going to be squarely in the uh, choke region of the map, which you don't really want to run these things there. But let's consider this like a max effort test. We need to find that limit. Let's do it. All right, stand by. Say a little, uh, little Hail Mary. And now. Sounds angry. I don't know, I mean, it made a little boost. Didn't feel that super strong to me though. 394. It's down. Do we not have it all the way at full power? I can check real quick. Uh, I'll check, I'll take a look. I'll make sure everything's all good there. Okay. So I'm gonna save you all the time that we went through troubleshooting things, making sure everything was hitting 100%. It's just it wasn't putting out 100%. So we decided to make another pull. Stand by. Do not have an answer for this. You know what we are gonna try. After this, without running, making a dyno pull, we're just gonna freaking hit the switch on that thing with it disconnected from the engine and we're gonna see just what it does going straight into choke. We wanna make sure that the inlet is clear of things that can be sucked in like the cat, mm -hmm. <laughs> which Simon is not in here, so he should be okay. But we are going to shove this puppy straight into choke. So it's going to be uh, an experience for it. You ready to be terrified? Yep. It's not, I mean, it's bad. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm just kind of used to it. <laughs> but it's like hitting some kind of internal limit. You know, we do have another option. We can switch over to the Hobby Wing ESC. It had a higher limit, doesn't it? No, this oh. is supposedly has a higher limit. That's but, why we're testing it. But it's not, it's not doing it. <laughs> so it's still like a trillion degrees in here. 95, it's up to 95 now. It is the end of September, but we are not too far from Mexico in these here parts. Uh, but hopefully this is the last dyno session where it's gonna be this hot in here. In fact, for the rest of the week, it's mercifully supposed to be out of the 90s. It's only gonna be highs of 89, which in Celsius terms for our, for the rest of the world, basically, that's like, I don't know, like 1,050 degrees or something. I don't know. But what we did here is we swapped out the ESCs because the Castle ESC just doesn't want to seem to push much more than 300 amps. We know the Hobby Wing will, but we also know it'll shut off. We don't know what's gonna happen here. Juan and I had a little bit of fun off camera setting up the Hobby Wing ESC and pulling it straight into choke at wide open throttle. That involved a lot of safety glasses and backing away in fear. So this time we know she's going to do it. We tried the same thing with the castle, by the way, and it just went to the same point, which is kind of terrifying, but not like scary back away terrifying. This is scary back away terrifying. Let's see what happens. Stand by. Top four. Here it comes. 
469. <laughs> Almost hit 500 with this big boy. That is not a bad thing. But it did go probably well over 600 amps. So I'll go into the relevant details of this 469 horsepower pull at the end of the video, specifically things like boost and such. But we did pull the car five more times on this day to try and beat that number and try to get the ESC to not kick out. And unfortunately, we were not successful. However, I was successful in electro booming myself. Ouch! Why do I keep getting shocked? All right, I'm putting on some gloves. Fool me twice, I might do something about it. All right, it's only 50 volts. Technically, it should not be shocking me. However, it is hot and I'm sweaty. Therefore, it is shocking me. I was also successful in accidentally turning on the dyno brake during deceleration by putting the dyno pendant face down in the passenger seat, creating a whole ton of smoke and creating an interesting smell I've never smelled before. You got a lot of smoke. That, that is hot. That is way too hot. So there you have it. We picked up 131 rear wheel horsepower on only five and a half pounds of boost. And we are sneaking up on where the sledgehammer was without the meth, by the way, which is really impressive to me. But we are still having the issue where the ESCs are either cutting out or not delivering the goods. Now that Castle ESC is a 500 amp ESC, but it seems to me like it's still hitting some kind of other internal limit. And if I had to guess, and again, this is just a guess, I think it's hitting a phase current limit but I don't really know for sure. I did talk to the good folks at Castle Creations and we're gonna try to get our hands on an unlocked, a truly unlocked, that is with no limits at all, ESC, and we're gonna see what that can really do. But we are getting a little bit tired of just trying to push a single supercharger to its limits. And ever since I put out the theory of how compound boost actually works video, I've really been dying to test that. So that's what we're gonna test, but with electric superchargers. And that's the next time you're gonna see the electric superchargers on our dyno here. But the next video that you're gonna see us release is something completely different. And it's something that I have been planning for years. And I hope you guys find it as entertaining as we did making it. So definitely subscribe for that if you're not already subscribed. And if this research and development is useful to you, we do have a Patreon page. I'll put a link in the description below. And in the meantime, here's your moment of Roger. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Come here, Raj. Come on. <laughs> <laughs>